Hello, well, about the moderators in this flip learning session, uh, we had um, Gabriela, she's from Argentina, Mike from uh, Greece, Aloysia from Germany, and of course the Colombian contingency, Carolina, Marta, Diana, and I. And we were so happy to work together, share our, our experience with flipped learning approach, and of course to have all the participants from different parts of the world. And it was an enriching experience since everybody uh, were together sharing what we have uh, learned. And of course, this was an awesome opportunity to know about different teaching contexts around the world. So you may be wondering, what is flipped learning? Flipped learning is an approach that has many different types of methodologies inside of the classroom. So think of flipped learning as a little basket full of these wonderful and delicious treats active learning, uh, positive psychology, uh, differentiated instruction, uh, collaborative learning and project-based learning, among others. This is an approach that allows teacher to move all of the instruction to from a group space to an individual space. Um, a flip classroom is not going to be the same as flip learning. Of course, I can flip one of my classes, but this is not going to mean that my class, my classroom is going to be flipped. And of course, when you implement wholeheartedly the approach inside of all of your classes, you're going to feel more entitled and students as well. They're going to feel more powered, not only in one class, but in the whole learning process of your subject. So why flipping? Well, First of all, flipping is a lot of different approaches to learning in one. Yeah, what does it mean? When you flip your class, you can include differentiation, gamification, project-based learning, task-based learning, CLIL, you name it. Whatever you have dreamt up now with flipping, you have the time to do it in your class. Second, why flipping? Well, it presents to us as a compassionate teaching methodology. At least that's what I think. Uh, flipping helps us see our students um, as people and ourselves as teachers as people as well. And so that's why I say that it's compassionate. Learning, teaching, students, knowledge, the relation among all of them changes when you flip your class. And another thing, the global pandemic uh, starting in 2020 definitely taught us the importance of really integrating technology and pedagogy. We cannot just uh, use lots of technology. We realized that actually that doesn't work. And uh, so we shared with our participants all those lessons that we learned from the pandemic, but also they shared them with us. Participants from 60 nations around the world took part in our flipped learning session. Online, they wanted to learn more about the method and collaborate with the moderators and the other participants. Our session was set up on Canvas. Every Sunday during the five weeks, new content on the flipped learning method was shared with the participants here. The participants uploaded their homework on Canvas as well, and they also discussed their uh, reflections and their ideas with the moderators and the other participants. Comments on our Twitter account were welcomed as well. Every Sunday in the synchronous session on Zoom, the weekly content was discussed Questions were answered and moderators and participants shared their reflections on the weekly content. In these five weeks, participants reflected on their own teaching practices. They had access to a number of resources that they could use for the individual space as well as the group space. We modeled different types of tasks that they could connect to their teaching practice and shared rubrics and checklists to show them how uh, we provide feedback as moderators of this session. Uh, we also 
developed activities uh, scaffolded from week one to week five that became a whole lesson and we included flipped instructions, differentiation techniques, and all of these were enriched through discussion forums. Our synchronous meetings were on Sundays for one hour and the main objective was to share what had been done during the week and to go deeper into the concept of flipped learning and its application. So we did this through a number of discussions and reflections with participants and these were developed through activities that modeled active learning with strategies such as gamification, game-based learning, mind mapping, sketch noting, and mindfulness among others. Throughout this five-week course, the participants were able to master the concepts underlying the flipped learning approach and understand the difference between a flipped classroom and implementing the flipped learning pedagogy. The participants were also able to plan a flip lesson, design activities, explore and discover new tech tools to start flipping their teaching practices. Their contributions uh, in the forum as well as on our Sunday meetings were super enriching and moderators and participants interacted and learned from each other. We want to share with you some of our participants' productions during this enriching experience and uh, we may say that our goals and expectations for this EVO 2021 uh, were successfully achieved. I'm Dr. Mike Contreras. Another co-moderator on this awesome Flevo team. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the reflection stage, the feedback stage that we got from our participants this year. It was absolutely amazing to meet such great global educators. And we asked them just a couple of questions. And one of the major questions we asked them is, what was the takeaway, the best major takeaway of this session? The feedback we got was quite a lot and it was quite interesting. One of the ones I would like to like to mention here is um, my major takeaway is the teacher must be really well organized when flipping, observe students work and pays attention to the process of learning and not just the outcome. There are quite a few more of the major takeaways. I'll, I suggest I just read one more. One of my big takeaways is learning about online technological tools. I haven't gotten used to using those online tools to teach, so it was innovative tools for me to implement. So many things, so many takeaways. Another question we asked them, what was your opinion about our tasks or the tasks that were assigned? So um, overall, we got a, a very good feedback. A couple of points here, a couple of um, uh, comments where I want to read to you are uh, the tasks were hands-on which was great yay uh, it was really great to be able to put the theory into practice and have feedback on my work so we made it as practical as possible and we got all our participants involved and uh, the feedback was awesome I sometimes wasn't very sure what I had to do but after reading other participants work I could do these tasks so uh, we made sure we shared the other participants work and they could understand and get uh, ideas and information from that and the whole cycle went on so overall the reflections of our participants uh, were really heartwarming and we can't wait to see him again next year our Flibo session was a great success, and the conclusions tell us that. First of all, teachers found in flipped learning a challenging but not impossible approach to teaching. They clarified a lot of the procedures that were going to be followed in uh, their classrooms from now on. The role of, um, of going beyond the teaching role stayed with them. They realized this is a lot more than just teaching a class, but it's being there, present with the students. Uh, collaboration was the main feature in our sessions. We are very grateful to our participants because they collaborated until the very end. Teachers who participated were the heroes of the day. They fight every day against all odds to reach every student. And that was something that was always in the air in our discussions. These were some of the references that we used for this presentation. Stay tuned for EVO 2022 and join us for our session next year. 